Hi everybody, Tim Coffey here. I want to thank Zoe and Nancy Morin for inviting me to be a sponsor of the YouTube Layout Hop for January 2012. I also want to thank the Lindy Stamp Gang for co-sponsoring the hop with me. There's a link to the Lindy Stamp Gang store below this video. You'll also find a link to my website and links to the hosts of the hop, Nancy and Zoe. In order to win hop candy, you must comment in everyone's videos for a greater chance to win prizes from the sponsors. The prize I'm offering is an assortment of handmade Valentine embellishments similar to the ones I used in this layout. For the hop, I created a 12 by 12 inch Valentine theme layout in pink and chocolate brown. I used paper from my cottage garden collection as the background. The frame is left open at the top to allow for slipping in a 4 by 6 inch photo. I cut the tag from the Gerber Daisies pattern paper from the Cottage Garden collection. The edges are antiqued with a chocolate brown acrylic paint. I used hot glue to attach a number 2 Wilton round cake decorating tip to a tube of acrylic paint. I used it to create the dimensional heart embellishments and the frame, which I later painted with chocolate brown acrylic. As the paint in the tube is used up, it gets more difficult to squeeze, and that's why I, I taped the end of the paint tube. The glitter accents in the center of the flowers is Tulip Brand Diamond Glitter Dimensional Fabric Paint. The small flower embellishments were made with this Martha Stewart Paper Punch. I used a variation on my FedEx flower technique to create the larger flowers. These flowers use only one piece of the security envelope rather than three. You can see the FedEx flower tutorial on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to leave comments under the videos for a chance to win the prize. And the next link in the layout hop is Zoe. You can find that link below this video. Thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoy the layout hop.